Hello, welcome to May 4 to May 8, Day 5 of ESOL instruction for newcomers, grades 6 through 8. It's your teacher, Mr. Eblin. This presentation is based on the grades 6 through 8 newcomer ESOL May 4 to May 8, Day 5 paper packet. These paper packets can be picked up at meal distribution centers throughout Baltimore. The center closest to Highland Town Elementary Middle School is John Rura Elementary School. The school address is 701 Rapola Street, Baltimore, Maryland, 21224. This week's theme is perseverance, which means to keep trying even when a problem is really difficult. Look at the picture. What do you see? What do you want to know? Write or draw in the chart. When I look at this picture, I see a crazy scene. I notice a wide-eyed man holding open a sail on a boat with a big piece missing, about to hit a large wave. I wonder who made this picture and why. Read each word below, read the sentence, and look at the picture to understand its meaning. Look up the word in a bilingual dictionary to write it in your language. This is a picture of the noun Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a country in Central America located between Nicaragua and Panama. Costa Rica has a tropical climate and beautiful rainforests. This is a picture of the noun harbor. A harbor is a place by the water where boats are kept. The man docked his boat at the harbor so he could slip into the ocean easily. This is a picture of the noun net. A net is a device made of rope stitched together, used to catch things such as fish. The fishermen cast long nets into the water and caught many fish. This is a picture of the noun engine. An engine is a machine with moving parts that turns power into motion. They had to replace the old boat engine because it could not be fixed. This is a picture of the verb survive. To survive is to continue to live in spite of an accident or hardship. Kimberly was in a terrible car accident, but luckily she survived. This is a picture of the adjective raw. Raw means not cooked. It took only a few minutes to cook the raw steak. This is a picture of the noun cabin. A cabin is a private room or compartment on a ship that is out of the, the weather. The woman went into the boat's cabin when it started to rain. This is a picture of the verb suffer. To suffer is to experience something bad or unpleasant. After his mother died, John suffered from depression. This is a picture of the noun strength. Strength is the state of being strong. Because of his strength, he won the weightlifting competition. This is the noun miracle. A miracle is a surprising and welcome event that cannot be explained by natural or scientific laws. It was a miracle the baby survived the fall down the steps. No one can explain it. The following is a true story that focuses on this week's theme, perseverance. As you read, think about how the men in the story, particularly Joel, showed perseverance. A long fishing trip. On a warm morning in 1988, Joel Gonzalez kissed his wife and four daughters goodbye. Joel was a fisherman in Costa Rica and he was going on a fishing trip. I'll see you in a week, he said to his wife, but Joel did not see his family for a very long time. When Joel left his house, he went to the harbor to meet the four other fishermen. Then the five men got on the fishing boat. The first few hours on the ocean were normal, but then there was a terrible storm. The storm lasted 22 days. When it stopped, the men checked their boat. Their fishing nets were gone. The engine and the radio did not work. There was no food and there was no fresh water. With no radio, they could not call for help. For the next few hours, the men talked and planned. How would they survive? Without their nets, they could not fish. Soon the men realized they could reach out of their boat and catch sea turtles. Since they did not want to eat raw meat, they needed a fire for cooking. The men tore down the boat's wooden cabin. Then they were able to start a fire and burn the wood. The men needed protection from the sun and rain, so they built a simple roof. 
The roof also held rainwater, which the men could drink. For the next five months, the men ate turtles when they could catch them. They drank rainwater when it rained. Often there was no food and no water, so the men were hungry and thirsty. Many times they thought they were going to die. But even though he was suffering, Joel wanted to live to see his family again. One day, when Joel's strength was ending and he thought he would die, he wrote a letter to his wife. It said, If I die, I hope someone will send you this letter. Then you will know how I died. I love you. He put the letter into a bottle. In June, five months after the men left on their trip, it didn't rain for a very long time, and the man ran out of water. They were thin and very weak and thought they would die soon. All five of the men lay down on the floor of the boat and closed their eyes to die. After a while, like a miracle, it began to rain. The men stood up and licked the water from the roof. Then all of them began to cry tears of joy. Ten days later, on June 15th, a Japanese fishing boat found the men. They were 4,000 miles from where they had started their trip in Costa Rica. All in all, Joe and the men spent five months on the water. Because of their strength and perseverance, they managed to survive. Complete the sentences with the following vocabulary words. Cabin, survive, harbor, suffer, and engine. One, Joel went to the blank to meet the fishermen and get on the boat. Two, the men didn't want to die on the ocean. They wanted to blank. Three, they needed wood to build a fire, so they tore down the boat's wooden blank. The boat's blank was not working, so the boat would not move. Five, a person will really blank if he doesn't get water for several days. It can be very painful. And here are the answers. One, Joel went to the harbor to meet the fishermen and get on the boat. Two, the men didn't want to die on the ocean. They wanted to survive. Three, they needed wood to build a fire, so they tore down the boat's wooden cabin. Four, the boat's engine was not working, so the boat would not move. Five, a person will really suffer if he doesn't get water for several days. It can be very painful. Cause and effect. In a story, as in real life, a cause is something that happens, which then makes another thing happen, the effect. The cause is why something happened, and the effect is what happened as a result. Directions. All throughout the story, we learn that the fishermen persevered through their challenges. They did not give up. Read each challenge on the left. For each of these challenges, call statements, write the effect. The first one is done for you. 1. The boat's engine did not work. The effect is the boat would not run. 2. The men's nets were gone. 3. The men did not want to eat raw meat. 4. The men needed protection from the sun and rain. 5. The men ran out of water and were very weak. Find the best way to complete each sentence. Refer back to the text as needed. Write the letter of your answer on the line. Afterwards, practice reading the five complete sentences out loud. 1. The men left the harbor. 2. The men reached out of their boat. 3. The men tore down the boat's cabin. 4. Joel wrote a letter to his wife. 5. The men were rescued. A. By a Japanese fishing boat. B. To fish in the ocean. C. To tell her what happened if he died. D. To catch sea turtles. E. To make a fire with the wood. Today's objective was to respond to personal and text-based questions. Write your answers to the questions below. 1. What is one thing you learned from this lesson? 2. What is one thing you are still curious about? Next week's theme will be responsibility. Look at this picture that shows responsibility and think about what responsibility means to you. Now look at this painting by a student named Yolanda Zyka that shows responsibility. What does responsibility mean to you? Final steps for Mr. Ebling. One, if you are in my Google Classroom, you can either send me a picture of your completed work there or edit the PDF that is in Google Classroom. Two, if you are unable to join Google Classroom, take a picture of your completed packet and text it to me. If you do not have a packet, write your answers on your paper and then text it to me. Three, my classroom code for Google is XUZFSOB. 
My number to text me is 410-645-0593. Please do not text after 8 p.m. My email is taebeling at bcps.k12.md.us. This is the end of this presentation. Please complete as much as the packet as you can if you have one. More presentations will be posted as they are created. Remember to be safe, stay six feet away from people when you are away from your home, and wash hands as often as you can. Goodbye for now, Mr. Ebling.